A follow-up now to the future of the old Swansea Mall property. Tonight we're getting a look at what a developer is proposing for the site. The mall closed at the end of March and a real estate firm bought it a few months later. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen talked to a town selectman about the plans for the property. He joins us now live in studio with what he's learned. Steve? Well, Mike Kate, since March, the new property owner has said something would be coming, but that they were still working out the details. Well, now we have our first look at how they want the massive property to be transformed. But the timeline of when it could happen is still unclear. This is the rendering unveiled by the new owners of the Swansea Mall. Ignore the store signs. They're simply placeholders, according to Brady Sullivan Properties. It's to show what they want the facade to look like in the future. This is what it looks like now. It needs revitalization as soon as possible. Swansea Town Selectman Christopher Carrero spoke to me in the empty parking lot. The mall was closed earlier this year. Then it was bought at auction for $4.6 million. Yeah, we're trying to recreate the economic engine for the town of Swansea. Carrero said he believes this will ultimately be a $200 million investment. Housing, retail, entertainment, medical offices potentially, uh, maybe even a municipal complex for the town of Swansea. There are roadblocks ahead. Residents need to sign off on zoning changes, and Walmart is still open at the mall, and they have a say in the future. There's a lot of steps here. It's a very complicated project. He said there will be a special town meeting in November where residents can decide on the future zoning of the mall. Now, Brady Sullivan Properties have other renderings on their website of what the residential housing buildings would look like at the mall, but didn't want to share them with us because they said they want to focus on the commercial and retail portions of this project first. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.